hello students so welcome again so we today we are going to discuss with the new topic that is a genomic proteomic and bioinformatics ones so basically when we see uh, in the last few chapters we have studied about the uh, dna structures okay genetic engineering plant genetic engineering so basically the total dna is formed and the transcription is formed the mrna is formed which is totally depends upon the protein one okay and then the metabolism and it is totally depend on the metal that is uh, we can say uh, sugar then nucleotides amino acids and the lipid formation so all together this forms a new genes is been formed okay or dna is been formed so basically we are going to take a step by step so okay so genomic when we say this it so the term genome was the first suggested by the uh, scientist that it was winkler in 1920 while the term genomic was first coined by the ted rodericks in 1966 so the genome of an organism we can say of a plant animal or microorganisms is the sum is the sum total of its genetic information including all the genes we can say both uh, transcript and non transcript one okay so uh, we can say sections of the dna okay so while genomic uh, is the study of all this complete genetic content of an organisms so genomic uh, it is a study again we can say of a molecular organizations of genome their information contains and the gene uh, products they encoded one okay so it has a various types is that uh, first that is a comparative gen uh, comparative genomic then functional genomic and the structural ones so in this first one that is a comparative genomic or the genome annotations that so the genome of an organisms can be defined uh, defined as its total dna uh, total dna com- complement we can say so it contains of rna and the protein coding genes which is required to generate a functional organisms as well as uh, the non coding dna so it uh, may comprise a single chromosomes or to be spread across multiple chromosomes okay so the main aim of the uh, genomic is to determine and understand the complete dna sequences uh, of an organisms of the genomes like that is the functional genomes so the uh, we can say ambitious goal or the main goal of the functional genome is to determine the functional of functions of all the genes and gene products that are expressed in the various cells and tissues of an organisms under all sets of uh, we can say conditions that may apply to that organisms okay and the third that is the structural genomes genomics uh, in this it is use the techniques such as x ray or we can say crystallography uh, then nmr uh, spectrometry Uh, with the aim of pro- producing a complete structural description of all the uh, we can say proteins and mac- macromolecules complex within the cell ones okay so these are the three types then the next there are methods of a uh, whole genome sequences okay so in this we can say the it is a strategy for whole genome sequences uh, are broadly classified into the following two groups we can say that first that is a a uh, whole genome shotgun sequencing and the second that is a map uh, map first sequence l- later or uh, clone by clone sequencing or uh, hierarchical shotgun sequences one okay sequencing one so the first that is a whole gun uh, shotgun sequences so in this so this method involves sharing or uh, we can say cleavage means partially uh, digestion of genomic dna followed by uh, cloning to produce a genomic library so this is followed by sequencing of cloned dna fragments uh, at random okay followed by assembling of the sequences into larger unit on the basis of their overlap so which is also called as a shotgun assembly one so in this whole genome shotgun sequences approaches 8 to 10 fold sequencing of the whole genome which is needed for uh, coverage of uh, the whole genome so much less amount of sequencing that is 4 to 5 fold is needed in clone by clone for uh, hierarchical shotgun approaches so although in this uh, we can say 
latter approach uh, considerable work is involved in preparing the whole genome uh, physical we can say map using bsc and psc ones okay so in this that is a second that is a uh, map for sequence later or clone by clone strategy or hierarchical uh, shotgun sequencing so it is the approach of uh, large dna sequencing uh, large dna segments uh, which are first cloned in bac back vectors which is a vectors one and this uh, bac is are then used for construction of a physical map such a map is described as a physical map of the genome since uh, the physical posi position of each clone of or we can say each clone on n chromosomes is defined as a form of order okay or bacs uh, so unlike the genetic map where the markers are placed on the linkage map or uh, chromosomes map on the basis of recombination frequencies uh, rather than on the basis of the physical distances okay so these are the methods of the whole genome sequences in the picture you can see then the next that is a proteomic okay when we discuss about the concepts so the whole the proteomic is uh, we can say uh, derived from uh, from proto a uh, which is uh, in complement to genome okay so we can say so proteomic compares the protein profiles of uh, proteomics under different conditions in order to uh, unravel biological processes so the proteomic is the identification analysis and large scale characterizations of proteomics so that is the total protein components which is expressed by given cells tissues organs under the different set of conditions okay so uh, some of the main objective of this proteomics are first that is the characteristics uh, to characteristics post transcriptional modification protein and the second that is the to prepare 3d map of the cell indicating the exact location of the protein okay so uh, so this is the main we can say proteomic one now what are the types of this proteomic so basically there are two types that is structural proteomic and the functional sorry structural proteomic and the uh, functional proteomic so the structural uh, proteomic so this uh, proteomic includes all the various products encoded by a simple a single genes that may result from uh, multiple transcript from the use of uh, alternative translations start sites uh, on these mrnas and from different post uh, translations modification of individual translation products okay now the functional uh, proteomics so uh, we can say it uh, the transcriptome the proteome is uh, continuing continuously changing in response to internal and external stimuli but is much more complex than the transcripto okay now the next that is the methods used for the proteome analysis so in this we can say uh, proteomic is the as we know that it is a quantitative study of the proteome using uh, techniques of high resolution of high resolution protein separation and identification so more broadly proteomic uh, research uh, also consider protein modification functional then we can say subcellular local uh, localization and the interaction of proteins in complexes so such analysis uh, are of uh, crucial importance to our uh, understanding of how cells functions and and of how functions changes during the disease time so a protein found only in the uh, we can say diseased state or the host or the, we can say the level or the whole level is altered uh, in disease may represent a useful diagnostic marker or we can say drug target since most of uh, what happens in the cell is carried out by uh, we can say uh, large macromolecular complexes rather by, than by individual proteins or we can say scientists are now trying to uh, detect all the protein protein interaction within the cell and so produce the in, uh, we can say intertome or we can say an 
integrated map of all such interactions. So the association of one protein with another one reveals the functions or uh, for reveals the functions for unknown protein and novel rules for known proteins one. So these are the methods they use for the protein analysis ones. Okay. Okay. And do not spit in the public place, please. Thank you very much.